Hello guys, uh, this is War and welcome back. Uh, in today's video, uh, we will take a look at two rules of fraction rules. What we have today is 25 div uh, is, is 5 divided to 2 and the whole divided to minus 3. The second one is x divided 16 and uh, divided 25 divided to 2. Uh, we will take a look at uh, two, those two rules and how they are different. In the normal division, when you divide the numbers, you get the whole number at the end. Let's say we have three, no, nine divided to three. This is the normal division. And the and, uh, answer will equal three. But in fraction, they have something in serial meaning when you divided it. And that's what we're going to do. There's a mix, there's a lot of uh, room for a fraction, but today we just take a look at those two. Uh, I have another video, uh, we talk about this one, but I think sometimes it's confusing, so uh, I'm going to repeat this one uh, just to make sure we, we are clear. So in fraction, if you have A divided to B to minus B, let's say, the answer will equal minus and will be A to B. And the sign here will make a difference. Uh, what does mean when you have when you divide it, the minus it become the whole uh, the, is applied to the whole answer for uh, to division, and that's what we're going to see on on the first uh, problem. In the complex uh, fraction rules. The first one, what we have here, is A divided to B divided to C. And the rule will look like this way. It will be B divided, no, A divided to B and the whole thing divided to C. And then, to simplify it, you still have A divided to B. And remember here you have 1. We're not saying, but it's, it's 1. But after that, it's going to change to times 1 over C. I have a video, the first video I did that, the same thing. And from here, it will be so simple. And remember, when you divide it, the minus sign will apply to the whole, uh, for your whole answer. And that will make a difference. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one is 5 divided to 2, and the whole thing divided to minus 3. Take a look. As we said, it will be 5 So it will be 5, we still have 5, 2 times, we say we have multiplication. And that will, so 5 times 1 is 5, and then 6. 
this answer should be wrong because it's going to apply for the whole uh, answer. So your answer should be minus 5 divided by 6. And that's what we should be looking for. Because so it can apply for the whole uh, equation. And because the reason you are dividing 5 to, to 6, I hope it's clear. So we're done with the first one. The second one is x is x divided 16 divided 25 divided 2. The rule here will be simple. So we don't have so the rule we apply here is the same like we have B divided C divided, sorry, sorry. We have 8 divided to B to C and D. And we equal a divided to B, C divided to D. And we equal A divided to B times D. The same thing we did with the first one. Uh, that's what you should get. So for these, you can just number them. I did examples like this before. So this is A, and this is B, and this is C, and this is D. And should be easy for you. So we can just plug the whole thing. So to do so, we will have x divided 16 times 2 divided to 25. Because like I said, what we've done is A divided to B times D divided to what? C. So this equal 2 times X. Two times x and the whole thing divided to sixteen and then times twenty-five. We're not done yet. What happened we have to simplify this so we know sixteen is what? So we we'll equal 2 times x and 2 times 8 2 times 8 times 25 
to will constant with two and you will see remaining with x divided so a times 24 is what so we have a times 5 is is 40 so 0 and then we carry 4 we uh, 8 times 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20 so it's 200 the answer will the answer is answer is x divided to 200 the answer should be uh, x divided to 200 there's a different way you can still get the same answer so let's say the same thing it can be we have x times 2 divided to 16 times 25 so let's begin from here we can multiply 16 times 25 and then divide it to uh, divide it to 2x to the number we get so let's say if you have 25 times 16 let's do it together so 0 1 time is 25 is 25 6 times 5 is 30 so we carry 3 2 times uh, 2 times uh, 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15 zero so 400 is a result of 16 times 25 and so let's go back if we have 400 so we will still have 2x which is multiply x or you can multiply 16 times 25 you got 400 and then uh, you divide it 2x to 400 you got uh, 200 it's the same thing so whatever you do uh, at the end you get the same answer so those are two rules we learned today and we call them the complex uh, 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 fraction rules and uh, I will put the link for another video I done before so or you can go and search for how you solve this but those are two rules uh, we learned today if you have questions let me know thank you